Okay Google, what's 9 times 800 minus 50? I think Google Assistant is best when it comes to personal assistance. Okay Google, do you know Bixby? We haven't met yet, but I hear Bixby is a great listener. How dare you install Google Assistant on my watch? You I will kill you and make you disappear. Remove Google Assistant right away or you are dead. Hey, what is up internet? Welcome back to the channel. So you all know that the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 comes with Bixby at its default personal assistant. But it's kind of slow and it does not work that well. So I looked upon the internet if we can get the Google Assistant working on the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 and it turns out there is a way and in this video I'm going to tell you exactly that. Now just like my previous video about the 5 hidden features of the Watch Active 2 a card somewhere here if you want to check that video out this trick might work on older galaxy watches as well so let me know in the comment section below if it does and now without any further ado let's get started so number one step is that you need to install the g assist app by this developer called camille kieski uh, on your watch active 2 you can do it from your watch active 2 directly or you can also use the galaxy wearable app and then you also need to install the g assist companion app on your android phone note that if your watch active 2 is connected to an iphone this method will not work for you now once you have done that now we need to get the Google Assistant API from the Google Cloud Platform Console. So simply go to the Google Cloud Platform and once you are there, go to Home. And if you are going to the Google Cloud Platform Console for the first time, you will have to agree some terms and conditions. You will see a small Create button on the top right in the Home menu. Go to Create and name anything you want your project to be. So let's just name it Google Assistant on watch. You can skip the location section and hit create. Now that we have successfully created a project, go to API and services and you will see this small button on top which says enable APIs and services. Hit that and you will get this search box. So we need to type Google Assistant here and we choose Google Assistant API from here. Now wait for the enable button to come and hit enable. Now once you have done that, we need to create some credentials. So to create credentials, go to this create credentials button on top right. And now this page will ask you three questions. So first question is which API are you using? We say Google Assistant API. And then it will say where will you be calling the API from? We select Android. And then lastly, what data will you be accessing? We say user data. And after you've done that, you need to go to the OAuth consent screen and go to create and give a name to your application. So let's again say Google Assistant for watch. Now scroll down to the bottom and hit save. And now let's go back to the credentials page. Now drop down to the create credentials column and choose OAuth client ID once again. Now choose other and you can give any name to the application type. Let, let's again type Google Assistant for watch. Hit create and you will have a downloaded JSON file. Download the JSON file and now you need to move this file to your Android device. Now we need to go back to the G Assistant companion app on your Android device and we will load this JSON file through that. Okay, now that we are inside the G Assistant companion app, you need to give certain permissions to the app. So let's do that and hit next. Now you'll need to browse the JSON file we just saved on the root folder of your Android device. So let's go there and let me go to the root folder, choose the JSON file we just loaded and it says loaded successfully. Hit next and now we need to authenticate our Google account. So you will need to give the access to your Google account to the G Assistant app. So let's choose 
and hit allow and hit allow once more and copy this code and go back to the G assist companion app and paste the code there. Now it might take some time to authenticate but once it's done doing that the Google assistant should be running on your watch active too. Now let's also assign double press home key to the G assist app for easy access. So to do that let's go to settings and navigate to advanced and choose double press home key to G assist app. Now simply double press and Google Assistant should be there to answer all your questions. So you do also get some settings option on the G Assist app like larger font, auto listen on start, auto listen on resume. But I observe that these features don't really work that well. So you'll have to tap the listen button every time you want to say something to the Google Assistant. So let's, let's just try. What's the weather in Gurgaon? Right now in Gurgaon it's 65 and sunny. Today, it'll be sunny with a forecasted high of 65 and a low of 47. Tell me a joke. What did the snail say while sitting on the turtle? Wee! <laughs> Can you sing me a song? Now all is not roses with this trick. Now because we are installing the Google Assistant as a third party personal assistant, a lot of the features, especially the features where you have to control app or other hardware related stuff does not work that well. In fact, I couldn't even make calls with the Google Assistant on Watch Active 2. But you still get all the googly answers from the Google Assistant that you would have otherwise from all the other Google Assistant devices. So yes guys, this was my quick guide on how to install Google Assistant on your Watch Active 2. Let me know in the comment section below if you like this video or if you found this video helpful and lastly don't forget to subscribe to tknet if you want to watch more such videos in future and especially hit that bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload my next video so till then keep asking and i'll see you in the next video <laughs> भाई मेरे को डर लग रहा है ब्रो ये किससे बात कर रही है ये भाई किसी और से बात कर रही है कि